Good morning, everyone. I used to be the type of person who would roll out of bed 20 minutes before I needed to leave the house. The sun would already be shining, the birds would have eaten all their worms, and I was happily sleeping my morning away. I would go to the bathroom thinking about how much I wanted to go back to sleep, but I would always start off by brushing my teeth, which is something I still do today. I would quickly throw on some sunblock and then change my clothes. I still manage to make my bed in less than 10 seconds, and this is a habit that I've always had even as a child. I would then very quickly grab all of my belongings and then head to the kitchen so that I could grab any food that I needed for the day. As you can see, I really didn't have much time for anything else. And just like that, in less than 20 minutes or so, I would be out the door for the rest of the day. And then morning routines happened. I realized that I was tired of rushing in the mornings and I really wanted to create a routine that made me feel good, made me feel productive, and I could get my exercise in. Waking up at 5 a.m. has been a way for me to experience the fullness of the day and really start off with a bang. So becoming a morning person has definitely been a process, but it has allowed me to really reflect and to have more time to read and really be intentional with my mornings. So how did a person who was the queen of rushing become a morning person who really spends intentional time slowing down and reflecting and reading? Let me tell you. Now, I once tried to be a morning person. I tried to go to a 6 a.m. workout. So I woke up at 5.40 a.m., 20 minutes before my workout, and I went to the workout. But then I came home and I immediately thought, can I fit in a nap before I go to work? And I just remember the whole time at work, I was thinking, I'm so tired. Wow, I am never doing that again. And then when I got home, I believe I took a two hour nap. So being a morning person was not something that was naturally in me all the time. Now sleeping early for me has never been a problem, which I know is a really big blessing because a lot of people struggle with sleeping earlier. But for me, I could sleep at 10 p.m., no problem, but then I could wake up at 8 a.m. and sleep for 10 hours no big deal <laughs> so for me it wasn't really about sleeping early enough it was i just can't wake up early but at that time i also wasn't really taking care of my body in the best way possible so i just didn't have a lot of energy I mean, I did that pretty much my entire life. Even when I was a kid, I was just so used to rushing to everything that I needed to go to. And then I realized how much a morning routine could really transform my habits and my lifestyle. I was always in a rush because I never gave myself enough time to do anything. So if anything went wrong, I was cutting it really close. For example, if I lost my keys, if I lost my wallet, I did not have enough time to deal with that. I also didn't like working out in the mornings because because I expected to love it the first time. And I would say I really got used to waking up earlier around the third time I successfully did it. First time, not so great. Second time, still tired. Third time, I thought, I can do this. I have so many examples of different morning routines that you can incorporate into your life on my channel, but I really wanted to share, you know, how I ended up becoming a morning person. And I think after you do something for a long enough time, it becomes a habit. And once it becomes a habit, it starts to transform and change your life. And for me, I saw so many benefits to waking up earlier rather than waking up later. Speaking of creating habits, this video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people like you and me. You can explore Skillshare's workshops, classes, and a bunch of other things. Drawing, writing, and journaling can be great ways to help manage stress, practice mindfulness, and feel connected to one another too. One class that I think is very thoughtful and really well done is Ali Abdal's Productivity Masterclass, principles and tools to boost your productivity in order to further understand what it means to be productive. Skillshare is a yearly subscription and it's less than $10 a month, but the first 1,000 people to use the link in my description will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership. Yay! 
I just feel like I am much more productive in the mornings and I get a lot more done and I take time doing the things that I need to do rather than just going, going, going because I know I've given myself a long enough time before work to get the things done. I don't wake up at 5 a.m. every single day, but when I do, it's not a big deal. I don't need coffee, I don't need tea, I am good to go. And I really think the habits that I've incorporated into my life has really helped with that lifestyle. Figure out how much sleep you need. For me, I need to function with a minimum of eight hours of sleep. I know some people who can survive off of six hours, but for me, that's a no. I need eight hours. Exercising definitely helps with my energy level. Incorporating exercise at least three to four times a week to start has helped me have way more energy to stay motivated and to also feel like, oh, I'm treating my body well. And then I go to bed really tired. Many times Sometimes when I would work out at night, I felt like it was hard for me to fall asleep. So working out in the morning helped me just wind down in the evening and have a good night's sleep. I always have somewhere to go when I'm waking up at 5 a.m. I either have to go to a workout, I have to go meet someone or go do something. And so for me, it's a must do where I have to wake up versus I'm just gonna wake up and stay in my room for the next four hours before work. So definitely have a purpose behind why you wanna wake up earlier. If you have a lot to do, I really think it's helpful to start early in the morning. And it's just so quiet. It is so quiet at 5 o'clock in the morning. The world is still waking up. It feels surreal, but it feels good. I always get asked how I maintain a social life while waking up at 5 in the morning. And for me, usually I'll hang out with people until about 8 or 9. So after that, then it's time for me to sleep. And all of my friends know that, that I have to wake up early or that I woke up early and I'm tired. So it's okay to let your friends know that you're tired or that you can hang out from this time Frame. I also have some friends who sleep just as early as I do because we are all grandmas and grandpas So that helps too. So I hope seeing how I used to be and how I am now has helped to encourage you to know that you can do it too If you like what you see, please like and subscribe and I'll see you later. Bye